All right, this is a 2018 Thor Motorcoach Hurricane 34J. I'm changing out the chassis battery. So the chassis battery is the battery under the front hood here that powers the engine to turn the engine on and powers some of the accessories like the lights, uh, air conditioning. Uh, it actually powers the uh, step on the side. I have it covered up, but there's a, 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 a little step comes out there. That's all powered by the chassis battery. Not to be confused by the house battery. The house batteries power all the other components in the house, but I'm changing this out. It's about five years old. I just kind of as preventive measure, I just want to change it out because it's actually it's six years old now. So to get your hood up, uh, again, this is Thor Hurricane. With the hood front hood up, uh, it's easy to see these locking pins here. See these locking pins? There's a little key that goes in here and the little twist twisting locking mechanism that locks that behind this this bar right here to keep it from going up so once you unlock both of those locks one on each side of the hood here the the hood pulls out and then up mine's really tight too i don't know if it needs to be greased i don't know if these struts here are not have been kind of worn out on the left hand side the, the passenger side of the vehicle so looking at the front of the vehicle left hand side under here we have this is our coolant tank just below that, down here on the bottom left-hand corner of the engine compartment, we have our chassis battery. Now to take this one off, this is actually an eight millimeter bolt. This one's a 10 millimeter bolt on the positive side. So negatives on, on the right side, positives on the left-hand side. So once we just, we'll just unscrew this eight millimeter bolt here, it spreads open this clamp and then we can just pop, pry that off. So we got the negative off and then the positive I've got that loose and I can just uh, now wiggle that off. I can even just get a little flathead screwdriver and pry that up. With both the negative and positive terminals off the battery, there's this little clamp here. This is a, this is a 10 millimeter bolt. I take that off and that's just a clamp that kind of uh, clamps down on the bottom of the battery and it prevents it from moving around. You can see it's, it's in there pretty solidly. Once I get that off, I'll be able to pull that battery out. So the block's been removed. Comes out pretty easily, just unscrew that. Now the battery is loose. You see that I can move it now. I can get that out. This one doesn't look like it has a handle on it. So, you know, the handle's been removed. So I'm going to have to, that makes it a little harder to get it out. Battery is out. It actually wasn't that bad to get it out. These wires move out of the way pretty easily. Now the battery size is at group 65. So all you have to do when you go to the auto parts store is just look for a 65, group 65 battery size. This The factory one has a 750 cold cranking amp capacity so i want to have at least that much and after six years this thing sat a lot it probably uh could do do for a change anyways got the new battery i picked this up at sam's club this is the uh, duracell automotive i mean this is you know it's probably just a mid-grade battery nothing special but it does have a higher cranking amps cold cranking amps 850 1045 at uh, uh, 32 degrees so it looks like it's got a little more cranking amps than the other one which is nice it's got a warranty on it so i'm just going to drop that in get it hooked up all right you just want to make sure the orientation is negative on this side positive this side you just want to make sure the battery is pushed back as far as you can get it in the tray Helps to have a little extension on your ratchet too. This motorhome has a charging system where the batteries are, the house batteries and the chassis battery are charged while the, the engine is on. So we're gonna do a positive side first. Okay guys, so that's how we change the battery in this coach. This is actually a pretty simple battery change. Of all the batteries that I've done in any automotive set, for any car, this is probably the easiest. Again, it's just an eight millimeter and 10 millimeter bolt to get those, uh, to get the uh, cables off and just pop, pop the new one in. Remember, you want to do this before, take the old battery out, take it to the auto parts store so you can get the uh, core exchange, uh, the core charge. Usually it's like 10, 15, 20 dollars. If you don't have an old battery to turn in, they charge you that extra on top of that. So take your old battery with you. And then also, 
you might have noticed that there was some red, kind of looked like some red paint on the negative terminal. Well, that red paint is actually a corrosion resistance paint that the manufacturers puts on some of these electrical connections. So there is not that kind of corrosion buildup. So there really wasn't a lot of corrosion on the terminals. And then uh, now the now the battery's ready to go. I'm ready to use this. So anyways, hopefully you found that helpful or useful. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe. See you in the next one. Thanks.